Why, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I kind of have a, a long-awaited video to release for you guys, which is kind of going to go over my opinions and whatnot of Low Life Righteous Fire in the beta for 3.0. Now please understand that this is strictly my opinion and these are not all of the changes that are happening. Anything can change from beta to live, that's kind of why it's a beta. But this has been a highly requested video, so I want to kind of inform you guys a little bit. And just to confirm again, this is for Low Life Righteous Fire. This is not for Mind Over Matter Righteous Fire, not Life Righteous Fire. Each of those kind of have a completely different build around them. So in the beta, there's 11 new support gems that come out. Um, none of these, to my knowledge, actually work for Righteous Fire itself. Uh, however, if you look at something like Efficacy, it does deal increased damage over time. However, I do not believe it's going to work for Righteous Fire because you would need a uh, you would need basically Spell Totem, right? So that's kind of how it works. So none of these are really going to matter. So to my knowledge, we're still going to be using your uh, Delirium, cra uh, Delirium Crafted Gloves. Now, on the plus side, increased burn damage does turn into a multiplier in the beta, which means it's more fire damage, which means that starting Low Life Righteous Fire is actually going to be easier in the beta than it is on launch because of that free multiplier. Now, I'm going to go ahead and compare gear and explain to you guys some of the gear because this is probably the most important part. So, when you're starting your Low Life Righteous Fire character, there are some really like demanding, basically, items. So, like Solaris Lorica to get started and Rise of the Phoenix. So, I'm going to go ahead and cover pretty much all of my gear on my current character because majority of my gear right now is actually like not nerfed at all because it's bad. So I'm currently playing a level 90 low life righteous fire character in the two week mayhem. Um, my time played on this character is one day seven hours so it's pretty much a brand new character. So let's go ahead and talk about my gear. But just to confirm for you guys, I'm running righteous fire just fine. Um, you can see my ES is pretty okay, it's good enough to run red maps. Pretty basic gear. So let's start with the first piece, gloves. These gloves are literally like, you can't get worse gloves than this. Even if the gloves get nerfed, which I think maybe they nerf, they nerf the values on them, this is so bad it doesn't even matter, right? So these gloves, taken into consideration, no problem. Baited breath has not been nerfed at all in the beta. So you can see, if you get a decent baited breath, it's gonna look exactly like this. Sintrek bypasses the ES nerfs that happen in 3.0 because Sintrek are actually pure evasion boots. They're not hybrid. If you look at them, there's no intelligence requirement because Sintrek, essentially what they do is Sintrek have a flat amount of energy shield. You can see plus 147, which is then modified based off of your armor scraps. Rise of the Phoenix, I don't think can get nerfed anymore. It's only 80 energy shield. If you take it from 80 to 50, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna affect that much. And this shield is a temporary shield anyway, just to get your character started till you were to craft, you know, in the beta now, a 300 plus ES shield with reduced damage taken from overtime effects. Presence of Cheyula isn't really required for the build. Obviously, it's going to be really good, but I'm pretty sure this isn't nerfed. It's a very niche piece uh, and it's very hard to acquire, but you can easily just use, for example, an Eye of Cheyula, which doesn't get nerfed at all. In fact, in the beta, you won't even need to use a Cheyula for the most part because of the Pantheon system, but I don't want to really reveal too many spoilers here, so I don't want to talk too much about that, but just know that there's a lot of goodies in the Pantheon system revolving around to like stuns and whatnot. The ring that I'm using, in fact, both of my rings, right? Both of my rings, I do not have a percentage energy shield craft from, uh, from basically Elrion, which is completely removed in the beta. So these are essentially perfect, right? They're just very basic, basic rings, so it doesn't even matter. Solaris Lorica cannot get nerfed. It doesn't even have energy shield unless they completely remove it from the game. That would be pretty detrimental to the, to the build, but I'm gonna assume they're not gonna do that because that wouldn't make any sense. Ephemeral Edge doesn't get nerfed at all. It just has a percentage energy shield on it. Not required for the build. You could use like a Bright Beak, you could use Red Beak, you could use Doriani's uh, Catalyst. There's a couple different things you could do. So, Ephemeral Edge, definitely nothing's going to happen to it at all. My helmet that I'm using, pretty mediocre helmet, 236 ES with a decent intelligence roll. That's good, right? It's nothing crazy though. I'm not using any extravagant gear. The thing about this helmet though is they even stated in the, like going over in the manifesto and whatnot, right? That it's going to be easier to craft noob energy shield gear but it's gonna be way harder to scale it because of, you know, basically like the 30% global nerf to pretty much all energy shield. 
So that means that starting Low Life Righteous Fire is going to be easier now than ever. And that's all you need to do because once you get the build going, it's it's already done. Like everything rolls out. Like you just currency just stacks up. The skill tree hasn't really been adjusted at all. So the main thing to take into consideration then is the discipline nerf, right? Because the auras are all the same, right? I'm currently running Purity of Lightning, Clarity, Vitality, Purity of Fire, Discipline, Purity of Ice, and Arctic Armor as a self buff. So discipline was nerfed. So if I were to turn off my discipline, I have 7.3k ES. I'm pretty sure discipline wasn't completely removed, right? So you'll probably still have like, I don't know, a decent amount of energy shield coming off of your discipline because of your aura effect. However, the new discipline in the beta has increased energy shield uh, recharge rate. Recharge rate for Righteous Fire doesn't really do anything because you're always in combat. We run off of our energy shield uh, regeneration and not recharge. However, recharge works for Vault Discipline. And when you're doing things like breaches with high density, your Vault Discipline is up 100% of the time. So in fact, the the basically nerf discipline is still not bad. It actually makes it better for mapping because you're, you should be relying on Vault Discipline. Anytime you get scared, you pop it, right? You get an insane recharge. So we'll be sitting at easily with our current recharge right now on this, on this bad character basically is 2,700. You could hit over 4,000. 4,000 ES recharge plus your regeneration. You're looking at like five to 6,000 per second in combat with your Vault Discipline up. Plus your four to five max res and everything else. So anyway, I hope this little discussion video kind of helped you guys out. Remember, I'm not here to prove what's better and what's not. Because of Mind Over Matter now working for Righteous Fire, there's going to be a bunch of different things popping up. But please take into account as well that mana does not actually increase the damage of Righteous Fire. It just puts another buffer on your, basically your resource of taking damage. Anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Uh, this is specifically made for the Guardian class. I'm pretty sure Trickster is going to be fine too. Those are the two things I'd recommend playing Low Life Righteous Fire as. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. Remember, you can still play Low Life Righteous Fire in 3.0. So with that, I'm out. Have a wonderful time, boys.